been using the word business model, uh, you know, throughout this conversation. Um, and it was something that, at least for the last 20 years, when it first became popular in the 1990s, academics and consultants uh, said it was important, but it usually took about 200 pages to describe. Um, but in the last five years, uh, uh, Alexander Osterwalder uh, got it down to a single sentence and a one-page diagram. And I, I thought his description and diagram is actually brilliant because it helps us understand when we use that phrase, what do we mean? So the definition of a business model is how a company, your company, creates, delivers, and captures value. But what that translates to is we could draw on a single piece of paper on the whiteboard uh, something called the business model canvas. And the business model canvas kind of articulates the nine things that are critical for any company strategy that creates and delivers capture, and captures value. And those nine things are pretty simple. You know, who are the customers? You know, what are their segments? You know, get them down to archetypes, etc. What's the value proposition, which is a fancy word for what product or, and or service are you delivering to those customer segments? What's the channel? That is, what's the distribution channel to get that value proposition from your company to the customer? What are the customer relationships? Um, in the early stages, customer relationships are how do we get, keep, and grow customers? Later on, when we have those customers, is how do we maintain our relationships with them? What's the revenue model? And revenue model is not just pricing, that's a tactic, but is it a subscription? Is it a license? Is it a direct sale? And so what's our revenue models, which is strategy, and what's our pricing tactic? Um, what are the activities do we need to be expert at to pull off these value propositions, those things we're building and delivering? And an activity could be we need to be experts in supply chain, or we need to be world-class manufacturing people, some great semiconductor technology, or we need to be experts in branding. That is, what are the key strengths of the company? And then the next piece is what are the resources that we need if those are activities? Do we need great engineers, or do we need, you know, uh, know how to bend metal, or, or need a whole factory to kind of do that? So what are the resources? And by the way, do we need any partners outside of our company to pull off those activities? Um, do we need FedEx as a shipping partner? Do we have our own planes? Or do we need an uh, overseas factory because we've decided to outsource our manufacturing? And then finally, what are our costs? And this is the classic, what are our fixed costs? What are our variable costs, um, et cetera? But if you really think about it, we've just described what typically used to be a 45-page document in nine boxes. And we actually start with by just writing down in little yellow stickies in a new venture what our hypotheses are, that is, what our guesses are about each one of those components. Um, and then we get out of the building and test them.